good evening to the graduating class of 2021 and to your families, your friends, and to our school staff, wherever you may be right now, whomever you may be with, and however you are celebrating your graduation. It is our pleasure to address you tonight. Graduation, this is a milestone in life, it signifies a young person becoming an adult in our society. For a young person to become an adult, there have been many people involved. This African proverb probably describes it best takes a community to raise a child. I would encourage you during this time of celebration for you to also take the time to seek out those who have helped raise you in this community, from childhood to adulthood, and thank them. Thank them for their support, their help, their friendship, and their love. They will have opened the opportunity for your life into adulthood. Hello, G21. As you celebrate your graduation, there are many coaches, teachers, and mentors cheering you on. Thinking back over the years, you may have fond memories of gingerbread contests, theater productions, musicals that almost happened, math contests, and joining clubs such as Rotary, Model UN, and Code Blue. The list goes on. For those who are athletically inclined, you have mentors in soccer, volleyball, basketball, field hockey, cricket, many more sports that have been integral to your success and fun. You may have found connection with mentors and friends through participation in the Terry Fox run each year, playing in the jazz band, participating in leadership. And I would encourage you to think back to your elementary years too, to your teachers and coaches, dance instructors, piano teachers, or faith leaders from when you were young. Wherever your passions lie, there were mentors, coaches, and teachers who shared those passions and took delight in cheering you on as you grew and developed and are cheering you on today as you celebrate your graduation. Congratulations to the class of 2021, and I wish you all the best in the next stage in your journey. I am honored to be a part of this virtual memory book. I'm even more honored to be thanking and toasting the families of our graduating class. When people ask me about how it is to work at PR, I always say the kids are great. But maybe what I should be saying is the families are great. Because a group of young adults, this wonderful and resilient is a reflection of hardworking, caring, and engaged families. Panorama Ridge is a busy school with busy students in an array of clubs, music, and sports teams which means PR parents are busy too, packing meals, driving, organizing carpools, volunteering, cheering, supporting heartbreak after a big game, encouraging your children to keep going when things are tough, and celebrating them throughout it all. You are likely feeling a mix of excitement and worry as your children move into the next stage of life. Like many of the stages before this, there will be ups and downs, struggles and successes, like many of the stages before this, your children will remember what you've taught them and use your advice in making decisions and navigating whatever comes next. Families of the grads of 2021, we toast you and the wonderful work that you've done in raising these fine young adults. We are so proud to say they're graduates of PR. Parents and that families, you should be proud. Hello, grads. We've acknowledged your families, your teachers, your mentors, and your coaches. And now we would like to recognize your peers, those people who walked through the school doors with you and stayed by your side for 13 years. Because you shared similar likes or dislikes, similar values, similar characteristics, or sometimes a connection that can't be explained, some of these peers became your good friends, and a few of them even made it to the ranks of best friend. This group of people have been your people in varying degrees for many years now. I remember when I first started teaching, I taught three grade eight English classes. And when I asked my students to write a personal narrative, many of them wrote stories that were either about scoring a winning goal despite all odds with five seconds left on the clock, or being stabbed in the back by a trusted friend. I kid you not, 20 of the 30 stories were always about these two things. But when I taught these same students a few years later in English 12, their narratives this time alluded to either working together as a team towards some amazing championship or getting through a difficult time with the support of friends. 
This evolution of thoughts, for me, symbolized a recognition of the important role peers and friends played in the lives of these students. Moving from lone hero to a united front and from confusing friendships to healthy, positive relationships, this progress was indicative of what students navigated in their school years and where they finally arrived. You too have taken this journey with your peers and friends. They have been a major part of your life for a long time. And as you move forward, we hope you value and cherish the good friends you have made during your school year. And when you fondly look back on your time here, five, 10, or 20 years from now, we hope that those same friends are still by your side. Congratulations, Brad, 2021. Whether it was hearing Ms. Brett's heels down the hallway, listening to Ms. Smith's band and hers while walking to class, asking Mr. Dan to change our Maya and passwords, or saying hi to admin on our way into school. These are just some memories we will cherish about our teachers. Walking through the doors in grade 8 was a nerve-wracking time for the most of us, but we were lucky enough to have teachers who, helped, who understood that first day of school feeling and helped ease through our anxiety. I remember thinking I for sure had walked into the wrong classroom for homeroom in grade 8, but Ms. Crawford's calm aura made me not want to leave, even if I was. And although I have not met every staff member at our school, I know who each person is. I've heard the excitement of my friends for getting into a class with their favorite teacher and seeing the casual conversations they made with our janitors after school. It's interesting how, how you can talk on and on for an extremely long time with a staff member at PR. School can be the most stressful time for students, but our teachers made it bearable. It's like our PR role models were always ready for our cry for help, even during a time as hard as a pandemic. Switching to online school was not easy. Even for me, as a student who has had taken multiple online classes through many different organizations, I can confidently say that self-learning is extremely difficult. However, our teachers have really proved to us in the past year and a half that they can engage us while we're, whether we're sitting in their classrooms or at home. Madame Perrine never failed to keep me awake during French class with all the cahoots she played with us. Ms. Bryson's enthusiasm and energy is something I never stopped hearing about from my friends. And Ms. O'Neill's financing hacks will forever be engraved in my head because of my proud math friends, and so many other teachers who put so much effort into giving us a smooth running grad year. They continue to challenge us and watch over us to make sure that we never fell behind. Staff has always been there for us, and in return they've just wanted us to enjoy our time in high school with a smile on our faces. And I want to thank them on behalf of the rest of the GLAD class for, what, for whatever they do for us. Thank you for everything, they do, everything you do, and thank you for caring. We appreciate you, we are grateful for you, and we will miss you.
Congratulations to ACO Pan Am Ridge's grad class of 2021. I'm Matthew Tran, this year's grad council president. I'm grateful to have the opportunity to speak to you all today. As we move on to our next destination, whether a new school, new job, or new city, the biggest hope I have for all of you is to remember all the memories you built here at PR and how they shaped you, whether positive or negative. Whether it was yelling we are PR way too many times, hyping up our jazz band or break team at a fine arts assembly, or showing your spirit during spirit week, I hope you take all those memories and show that spirit wherever you are next year. This year has been pretty hard, and I know it hasn't been the best situation to graduate in, but thank you for making the best out of it. As we move on, remember all the work that you put into this challenging year, and yes, it's corny, but thank you for making the best out of this year and never giving up. I also want to mention how proud of our grad class I am for being ambitious, determined, and resilient by being entrepreneurs, frontline work workers, raising money, or following their passions during the pandemic. As a grad class, we'll always remember getting yelled at for wasting water bottles during grade 8 day, being warned at to not yell too loud at sports games, and of course, graduating during the pandemic. For me, I'll never forget winning championship banners with the volleyball team, going to New Orleans with a music program, or leading our hot potato initiative chapter. And of course, the best, mem the best part of these memories has been working with different members of our school, and always getting to work with fellow grads outside the classroom. I'm excited to see what our next steps are next year, and I'm incredibly proud of everybody in our grad class, and wish everyone the best in the future. Congratulations, everybody.